guys so it's a girl mariana in the house oh my god i've missed you all so much so so much i know i haven't posted in a long time but here i am so today i'm gonna show you a story but we're gonna do it as a process i will have uh okay 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 we we shall just see so yeah let's get into the video <laughs> guys imagine when it's just my day for girls night out leo but anyways nothing is stopping me from going out <sighs> i'm going out nothing is stopping me yeah nothing i'm going <sighs> Okay, I, I'm all dressed up now. I'm going to tell a short story about my... No, 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 no. I didn't... Um, okay, I changed my mind. So I'm going to tell you a story about a couple friends of mine who came for vacation um, not so long ago. As I am applying my makeup, so... But I'm a very simple girl. I don't do like full makeup or something. Just, uh, just simple. Uh, as my friends know, I don't apply a lot of makeup. Yeah. So, um, I have a couple of friends who came for vacation uh, a few days ago. Yeah, and it was so awesome because I was with them. Uh, for some time and we really enjoyed ourselves hey so I just want to tell you a story of one incident because I don't have an, an eye pencil I'm going to just apply a, a little shade of this though I've never used it uh, just just a layer so these friends of mine <laughs> There was a day I told them that they should tell me earlier if they wanna see me. And then is there any difference? Oh, okay, I can see. Your specific day I walk with my wanda kunia wanda. So me ni lika kwa nyumba the whole day. Ooh, my mirror almost fell. Okay, so me ni lika kwa nyumba the whole day. Nikijua, I'm not getting out of the house. I'm not sure if there is any difference. Can you see any difference? But anyways, I don't care. So, here day me nilijuani kwa kwa nyumba the whole day. And I did my things very slowly. Very everything. Like, I wasn't just in a hurry to do anything. Like, ata hakuna kinilikuwa nafanya. Then these guys, ati they, they are calling me. They call me at 9 p.m. 9 p.m. They call me at 9 p.m. At I go, I go see them. I go see them wherever they are. And I'm like, where are you guys living? Because we are all living in Kenya and the curfew is at 10 p.m. And they told me, sweetie, relax, relax. Take an Uber, we'll pay for it. <laughs> This is always the most challenging part of any makeup, I guess. And I'm like, okay, no problem. So I start to prepare at exactly nine. I get into the bathroom at exactly nine ten p.m. I was so relaxed because I have very strong instincts, by the way. So I just knew wherever I was going. If anything would happen, these guys would sort me out. Very sure. I'm gonna be late. Whenever I'm going, I'm going to be late. Oh my god. And it's not even drawing. Why is it not drawing like the other side? I freshen up. Then just got out of the bathroom. I wore and by the time I was getting out. <laughs> Wow, girls, I was freshening up. By the time I got out of the bathroom, it was 9.30. 9.30, time. So, 
I wore my clothes as fast as I could. Then, then I took my bag, I took my ID, and I got out of the house. From 9.30, I waited for a motorcycle <laughs> to go to the stage where I'm going to take an Uber for five minutes. Got a boda boda at 9.35 to stage where I'm going to take an Uber. But then on the way, I decided to change my mind. I'm like, it's gonna be a long time for me to request and I'm not even sure if that I'm gonna get any because it's late already. And also, these Uber driver guys, they also have families and they're rushing to their families. So I knew I wasn't gonna get one. I decided to take a motorcycle. Don't be so shocked. I took a Boda Boda from Twapa to Nyali. <laughs> I took a Boda Boda from Twapa to Nyali. Can you believe that? Yeah. I was so afraid because they always put a kabaria, that police thingy. And I can see that I to That police thingy. They always put a kabaria up on top of Is it a police station? Oh, I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think hapo, hapo just just after Mtuapa Bridge. Hapo Ivo Kunawana police station. So they put a kabaria there. Then you all pay fines. Because you know you shouldn't be out late at 10 p.m. My only worry was kupita hapo. Ninge pita hapo, I would absolutely go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, but I was also <laughs> the Bamburi police. But that day, hawakuwa, thank God. Wanakuanga pale Bamburi Junction. Is it called Bamburi Junction? Just after you pass pirates. Sorry about that. Yeah, so the Buddha Buddha guy was from Trapa Nilimurumia Nilimu inconvenience sana. But I took a Buddha Buddha from Trapa to Nyali. And Ilipita Pale M Trapa base kunya barrier at exactly nine nine fifty five. Nine fifty five. Nine fifty five. Yeah. At exactly 9.55, I was out of Mtwapa, and I was in Shanzu. Where? The way that motorcycle was being driven that day. <laughs> Nilijua, I'm gonna die that night. I didn't want to slow the man down because that time I was in Haraka and I really wanted to reach where I was going. Don is particularly injured in Macarao. Napia, I appear to have chilled home, so it was a score for the both of us. So I finally got where I was going at exactly 10, 10, 10, 10. Yeah, I reached where I was going at exactly 10, 10. Yeah, then uh, they sorted out the man, and the man came home. They were shocked to see me on a boda boda because they told me to take an Uber. But there were no Ubers there. Then they're like, oh, you've come from Topa to Nyali using a border border. And I'm like, yeah, what? I'm going to take an Uber. Na many pigia simusa tatu. So I decided to take what was very possible for me to arrive here because I was I was to come. I didn't want to. Yeah, to just stay there and, and you guys had convinced me to come. These guys. Wana maka maka hapa ni kama si yao waliniambia ati aita just come. Imagine. So I was like, what did you want me to do? And you guys, like, it was not even the correct time to tell somebody to come and see you. They're just like, okay, anyways, you're here. So let us just be in the moment and let us do all that we can. So to kenge ukondani. There were a lot of things, so you know, you know, you know what kind of stuff there was there. We played cards. Oh my god, it was the most funniest game I've ever played. Like, that game was so funny. I don't know what it's called. I've just seen something moving here. Don't know. Okay. 
I don't know what that game was called, but it was a card game and it was so interesting. Oh my god, I was asked a lot of questions. But who not be me? I didn't answer any. I didn't. But there were some that you couldn't just answer. Yeah. Yeah, so. That is the end of my story, guys. Thank you for watching this far. Yeah, don't get shocked. We always use a toothbrush, by the way. If you don't use a toothbrush, if you don't, my dears, then I don't know how to describe you, girl. I don't know how to do it. So, guys, that was my story of how I almost got caught. Here. Yeah. As in, it was just five minutes to time, and I will sleep in a police station. Thank you guys for watching this far. I'm all done. How do I look? <laughs> okay, so let me go. I'm already late, like past like so late so let me go bye guys thank you so much for watching this video and sure you subscribe and don't forget to share so that we grow the family okay yeah so thank you bye